Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. Outlaws, I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas. Here to bring you possibly the final movie review right here on our YouTube channel. I think uh, after this, we're pretty much toast. It's going to be officially the end of volume number three. And I, what a good way to kind of reset the timelines with The Flash. I finally had the chance to sit down and watch this monstrosity. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know. It bombed in the theaters. I'm wondering, why did it do so bad? You got Michael Keenan, Keaton returning back as Batman. You know, you got crazy Ezra Miller in here. And yeah, I know there's not really a super villain besides himself or whatever. I kind of figured it out for myself. You got Ben Affleck coming back for one last time as Batman. You even have a quick cameo of Wonder Woman. You got brief images of Henry Cavill and all the other team members who were a part of this whole uh, DCEU. You know? So, whatever. I go... What could be wrong? Why did it bomb? So I decided I'm going to sit down. I watched it. And I can honestly say it was not bad. It's not the worst thing I've seen and it ain't the greatest. You know what? Uh, James Gunn and all those guys saying it's the greatest superhero movie made? Bullshit. No chance in hell. It might be maybe the top five DCEU film that came out. But overall... No chance in hell. I think it's in the bottom half. Story was okay. I was expecting maybe a little bit more. You bring back Michael Keaton as the Batman. And you gave us that. Yes, it's cool. You've seen the Batmobile, the Batwing. You saw him in the suit. Was it cheesy and corny? Just a little bit. You know, again, I don't like multiverse films. And it was pretty cool at the beginning. The special effects, not the greatest. I'll tell you guys right now. It kind of looked like... Not properly done. The fight scene's okay. You got Supergirl or Woman instead of Henry Cavill's thing. You got the return of uh, Zod, played by Michael Shannon. That was cool. It was good to see him back in the role. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just felt weak. I've seen it before, to tell you the truth. I was expecting a lot more. Ben Affleck seen as him as Batman going out the way he did, chasing through the scenes and shit blowing everywhere up. As he's uh, pursuing the guy on the bat, new bat cycle. I don't even know what you want to call it. Was good. Um, special effects overall okay. It was pretty cool how they tied uh, Barry Allen. Ezra's character to being at Metropolis that day when Zod came down. He's trying to explain a whole bunch of crap. And he was just beginning to be the Flash. And he saved the boy but couldn't save the father. Little touching moments like that. Very touching moments with his father being framed for his mother's murder. So he misses his mom. He wants to go back and change shit. But of course, Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne says, don't you dare. You're going to fuck things up. Pardon the language. And shit literally happens. He bumps into himself. And then they go on a little journey here and there. It was okay. Uh, action was good. Predictable. Yes. The end credit had Jason Momoa at the end. So you're not missing anything, even if you didn't watch it. Could be another one. I don't know. When I get the, uh, the Blu-ray whatever copy, I'll be more than glad to check it out. And maybe comment in the comment section below. But uh, overall, it was a good movie. It's not the worst thing I saw. It's not the greatest thing. Uh, would I recommend you guys check it out? Yeah, go ahead. If you want to see different glimpses of Nicolas Cage as a Superman. Uh, what do you call it? You have Henry Cavill for a brief moment. You got Christopher Reeves, Superman. Like That's near like the whole... I guess timeline shit there that they're trying to figure out who it is. And you have the Black Flash, which, uh, Evil Flash, which is the other version of himself who just wants to kind of keep on going and save the day. So it's like I said, it's predictable, it's okay. And at the end, he comes up thinking he fixed everything. His father gets off, uh, from killing his uh, mother. And who comes out of the rich looking car? Bruce Wayne, but ain't the Bruce Wayne he thought it would be like Ben Affleck. It is. George Clooney. So I'm like, are they setting up another one? Are you serious? Or are they just kind of hinting that here we go again? If they ever make it, like in an else world, I don't know what the hell they're going to do, but I thought maybe they would bring back a different Flash and shit. But the DCU's dead. And of course, we have one more film left Aquaman. So Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom or some shit. So that's going to be officially the last uh, 
DCU film. So I don't know. Kind of glad it's uh, done and over with. You know, kind of understand why it bombed because people know this is not going anywhere. So that's why it probably bombed. So, anyways, you guys leave your comments in the comment section below. And like always, like, share, and subscribe and tune in. We'll shall return with volume four. Don't know what format it's going to be. It's going to be the same kind of thing you guys got. You know, there's 31 episodes or videos that we posted the most ever of any season of the podcast Outlaw. So you can go watch those for yourselves. I think it's going to be about 50 videos your way. So you can check our library out. And we'll return sometime, probably in the fall, possibly in the new year. I don't know. Nothing's for certain, but I'll definitely see you. And of course, check out the movie throne because it's uh, I'm getting a little itch to come back and uh, continue that channel. So until then... Be the hell good. Stay off the king's throne. And I'll see you guys sometime on YouTube land. Be the hell good.